Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our first GIMP tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to talk about finding a program where we can do uh, digital you know, photography uh, editing and maybe some digital painting too. So uh, let's go to a website now. I'm sure everyone's heard of uh, Photoshop, so we're at Photoshop's website now, and uh, what's this, it's $699? I don't think so, we, we won't be paying $699. Wouldn't it be nice if there was something just like Photoshop that was free? Well, there is. This is uh, GIMP. Right now the current version is 2.6 and you can find them on the web at www.gimp.org and here on the GIMP website you can see that there are release notes um, GIMP is the GNU image manipulation program it's a freely distributed piece of software and uh, for such tasks as photo touching, image composition, and image authoring it works on many operating systems in many languages. GIMP uh, is pretty much as good as Photoshop. Uh, I haven't really seen anything that could be done with Photoshop that couldn't be done with GIMP. And I'm not saying that there may be some really way far out there little tools that Photoshop might have that you'll never use that GIMP doesn't have, but it's definitely not worth $699 to go out and pay uh, that for Photoshop when you can get something this close in GIMP. GIMP is an open source program which means that it's been developed by uh, many many volunteers who have put this together over time and it um, it's totally free, 100% free. You don't, do not need to pay anything to download it. So let's see how do we download it. Right here at the home page of GIMP.org. They make it very simple. There's a button here. Click it to download. And if you've got Windows, they make it really simple. Right here you can see download GIMP 2.6.6 installer for Windows 2000 and above. Uh, this version here, you may see that the micro version may be different or even the median version here may be different. Uh, the major version will be very rarely changed but um, don't be concerned if the micro version or the middle version may be a little bit different so just click here one thing you do want to make sure of is that this middle number is even you don't want to download a version that that has an odd middle number and here you should always see this even number. If it's an odd number, that means it's a developer version. You want to have the even number, which means it's a stable version that you can use to actually use the program on your computer. And as you see, this directed us to sourceforge.net, and it's going to automatically open this up. So all you're going to need to do now is click Save File. And once you have the file, you just go ahead and cl click on it and install it, and um, then we'll open up GIMP. All right, now I've already got GIMP open here. Uh, once you open GIMP for the first time, you're going to immediately think, "What? Why does it have two windows?" That's just confusing. But um, really, you can have uh, is you can have more than two windows if you'd like. You can have as many as you'd like, but you can have no less than two because if you close the toolbox you close this main window it's going to close down GIMP and right now we don't have any file open if you want to start a new file you click file new it's going to ask you what size you want it to be and you can also choose from a set of templates here and uh, your setup when you first start GIMP may be a little bit different than mine because I have already configured my toolbox for the way I want it uh, but in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you all about how to configure this thing however you want. We're going to go over the entire user interface 
and you'll have a firm understanding of how GIMP uh, handles its windows and dialogues. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.